Hey guys, what's up? It's Zach from Racing Sim Tools, and today I want to go over the new version of RST. Um, as you guys can see, there's a lot of changes. Um, the UI is almost completely different. Um, and one thing I really want to talk to you guys about is navigation using this new tool. Um, for a lot of you that have been using RST for a while, you'll notice um, there's no scroll bar at the bottom, there's no zoom in, zoom out buttons. Um, so how the heck do we use this software? Um, I want to kind of show you guys now. Um, that way you guys can kind of hit the ground running um, when the software is out. Um, so there's basically three different principles that we need to think of. Um, there is an x-axis. Um, we can either pan, zoom on that x-axis. There is a y-axis that we can pan or zoom on. Um, and then the third kind of grouping is we can pan and zoom on x and y at the same time. Um, so with the new software, um, essentially anytime you use the, the mouse button, um, you're um, with no modifiers, so no shift or control, um, just the mouse button by itself, um, you're going to be able, you're going to be doing the same thing with the X axis. Um, so if I do a left click, I can scroll the cursor um, through my data. And you can see it, there's a tool tip here that's going to tell you what the values um, of the signals are at that cursor. Um, now, if you hold the middle mouse button, um, what's going to happen is I got to zoom in a little bit. Um, it's going to pan the graph for you. So you just kind of click where you want to and then hold the middle mouse button and it's going to move that graph um, on the X axis for you. If you want to zoom in on the X axis, so you just want to get a little bit closer, you just use the scroll wheel on the middle axis and you can see it's only scrolling the X axis. So let's look at the y-axis. So you know we've we've scrolled, we zoomed in here, uh, but let's say we really want to um, zoom in on the y-axis right here. What you can do is you can can hold Control and then the mouse um, scroll wheel to zoom in. So just like the x-axis, uh, but now this was only going to zoom in on the y-axis. Um, you can also pan with the y-axis that way. So if you want to move it up or down, you just hold Control and then the middle mouse button and drag it up or down. Um, and then the shift modifier is going to do X and Y. So if I um, click and hold shift and then make a box, I can zoom in on a section that I've, I've drawn here. Um, one thing that you'll notice is, you know, I'm really zoomed in now. So how can I get back to kind of the default view? Um, well, if you double click with the mouse, um, it'll fit the data back um, into the viewport. Um, so if you don't use a, uh, a modifier, um, it'll do just the x-axis. So I'm just going to do a double click with my mouse right now. And you can see we're still zoomed in on the y. We still have a really high y-axis zoom. But we've now fit the x-axis so that the whole lap is basically visible. Um, now let's say I want to fit the y-axis so that it's not zoomed in like this. What I can do is I can just hold control and do the double click. And that's going to fit all of the Y um, onto the graph. So it's kind of fit, um, fit it a little bit better. Um, so these are some of the navigation controls you guys can um, use with the new software. Um, please, you know, experiment with it. Um, play around with it. It's a lot different, but I think it's a little bit more intuitive. Um, I think you guys will really enjoy it. And uh, especially with these um, scatter plots, you can see how amazing. I really love this, you know, X, Y zoom. Because for these scatter plots, it's really cool. Like you can zoom in and like look at the performance on these graphs. Um, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, but if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the Discord or on this YouTube channel or in the comments down below, and I'll try to address them. But until then, I'll catch you guys later.